Uganda has officially crossed a major energy milestone with a last of six turbines at the 600 megawatt Karuma hydropower plant now operational. The country's total installed electricity capacity has risen to 2,052 megawatts. Energy Minister Ruth Nankabara called it a major milestone as we strive to secure affordable power for economic growth. Karuma, located in Kriandongo district along the Victoria Nile, was built by the Chinese state-owned Sino Hydro Corporation Limited. The project cost around 1.7 billion US dollars, funded primarily about 85% by the Export Import Bank of China. The Ghanaian government covered the remaining cost. Uganda Electricity Generation Company Limited, or UEGCL, which owns the project, will operate the 600 megawatt turbines from a massive underground powerhouse. The electricity is transmitted through high voltage lines into the national grid. With this addition, Uganda joins a select group of African countries that have over 2,000 megawatts of installed capacity. But the country still relies heavily on hydropower, which makes up about 84 percent of its electricity supply other major hydro plants include ujagali with 250 megawatts and isimba with 183 smaller sources like mini hydros cogeneration from sugar mills thermal plants and large-scale solar make up the rest of the mix as generation grows so does demand Peak power consumption reached 1,160 megawatts in June 2025, an increase of nearly 9% from the previous year. Uganda now has over 2.17 million grid-connected customers, but nearly half the population, mostly in rural areas, still lacks reliable electricity, and per capita usage remains low. Just over 100 kilowatt hours per year, far below the sub-Saharan Africa average of 552. Despite the generation cushion, Uganda's power system faces persistent challenges. Transmission losses and power theft account for about 18% of the energy produced. That's a major concern when trying to ensure the new capacity translates into real, reliable supply. At the Africa Electricity Symposium last week, Minister Nankabura warned, our installed capacity is 2,048 megawatts, but the peak is already 1,160 megawatts and climbing. We can't relax. Consumption is rising faster than we're adding plants. To stay added of, of demand, the government is planning new mega projects, including the 840 megawatt Ayago Hydro Power Plant, the 400 megawatt Kiba Project, and the 392 megawatt or a young site. Long-term solutions include a nuclear power plant in Biende with over 2,000 megawatts expected after 2032 and geothermal development in Ibranga and Katwe targeting up to 250 megawatts. Crossing 2 gigawatts is a breakthrough, but translating those megawatts into factories, jobs and stable lighting will depend on reducing losses, improving last mile, distribution and moving beyond dependence on the Nile's flow. As Nankabara put it, Uganda's comf comfortable margin could evaporate within five years unless generation grinds and tariffs give space. Karma has brought the country time but not a free pass. The next phase will determine whether Uganda's power grid becomes a springboard for industrial growth or a bottleneck that stores it. For Science Television Network, I am Mathan Namunu.